Hello dear fans, uh, friends and subscribers. Uh, welcome to the Cricket Happening Show as usual. And in this uh, Cricket Happening Show, well, uh, it would be the Indian Premier League 2015. There were two matches played today. One is the 13th match between Sunrisers Hyderabad and Delhi Daredevils. What a match that was. I mean, it was just a scrape through, I would say. Uh, some brilliant things happening in the last two overs, which I'm going to recount uh, as I talk about that match. And then uh, Delhi Daredevils uh, eventually winning this match by four runs uh, against Sunrisers. And Kings Eleven Punjab, uh, who did very well in the Indian Premier League 2014, have been struggling. And today uh, they lost the match to Kolkata Knight Riders. Uh, that was another match uh, which was... Uh, which was pretty good as Kolkata Knight Riders won the match by four wickets with a breezy knock coming in from Andre Russell uh, to actually change the complexion of the match. So two matches to cover here <coughs> and uh, so let's uh, start off with this. The first match is the most exciting match so what I'll do is I will, um, uh, I will do a summary and then I will take you down to the excitement as to what happened. So the first match that we are looking at uh, is between Sunrisers Hyderabad versus Delhi Daredevils. <coughs> I'm sorry, still my throat is a bit sore, dear fans, uh, but I'm still managing it here. Uh, the, just because of all your cooperation and the tremendous support uh, that you have been providing to the show. Now, Delhi Daredevils were the ones uh, who batted first. Uh, their start was not good. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, Dale Steen today uh, was really steaming in, bowling very well. Uh, Pravin Kumar, uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar was very, very impressive with his bowling. Uh, there was a good disciplined uh, bowling, one thought, from the, uh, from the Sunrisers Hyderabad bowlers. Uh, Mayank Agarwal was dismissed early in the piece. He was out for one of three balls. Uh, and then there was a partnership. Now, this partnership uh, took the score from 15 for one uh, in the third over to 93. So, uh, they, they, I mean, uh, it was Dumini, the captain of the Delhi Daredevils team, along with Shreya Sayer, uh, both uh, really, I would say, just studied it a bit, and then we saw some glorious strokes being played by Shreya Sayer. We also that Shreya Sayer hitting Dale Steen on the up, uh, which was pretty good, and after that, Shreya Sayer turned his attention uh, to the spinners to start whacking them, and uh, Karan Sharma was the one uh, who was meted out a special treatment as he hit him for three sixes, in five sixes, uh, the, in, in a total of five sixes, he went after uh, Karan Sharma and hit him for three sixes. And Shreya Sai was uh, really, really going well. And uh, in the company of Dumini, uh, he had reached uh, his maiden Indian Premier League 50. At the other end, JP Dumini, as we all know, we all know that JP Dumini is not a very aggressive player. But today, uh, definitely uh, uh, taking the cue from Shreya Sai, we saw that Dumini was also. Uh, getting some quick runs and uh, in fact Dumini had the uh, guts to deposit uh, Steen over long on for six so that will really tell you uh, uh, how how attacking uh, JP Dumini the Delhi Daredevils captain was and things kept happening and suddenly this partnership as I said uh, yielded uh, 78 runs uh, in good time and at least you know they had uh, uh, after the early reverse that they suffered uh, I thought uh, Delhi Daredevils had done a good job to take the score to 93. But then well, Pravin Kumar was the one who picked up the wicket of Shreya Sayer. A very impressive 60 today of 40 balls with 3 fours and 5 sixes. Uh, and then Yuvraj Singh came to the crease. Well, Yuvraj Singh could contribute only uh, 9 runs. In fact, uh, once Shreya Sayer was gone, and when uh, with Yuvraj Singh, Dumini, uh, I mean, Dumini actually, what he did is, he decided to give Shreya Sayer the strike, but once Shreya Sayer departed, we saw Dumini getting uh, really, uh, you know, uh, really getting on to the bowlers as of the Sunrisers Hyderabad when he started getting uh, quick runs. So, but JP Dumini himself was clean bowled by Dale Steen, but not before making a very impressive 54 or 41 balls with five fours and two sixes. Yuvraj was uh, taken brilliantly by Warner. What a catch taken by a brilliant catch taken by David Warner um, at the fence of the bowling of Ashes ready for nine. The ball is really, really flying, but David Warner took a brilliant catch. So Yuvraj Singh was gone of nine of 13 balls, 
and then it was left to Angelo Matthews and Kedar Jado uh, to spank a few and finally it was Delhi Daredevil sitting at a total of 167 for 4 of that 20 overs <laughs> with Matthews not out on 15 of 11 balls with 1-6 Kedar Jado not out on 19 of 12 balls with 1-4 and 1-6 but as I said the Sunrisers Hyderabad bowlers uh, were very good Pravin Kumar was a bit costly 4 overs 1 for 38 Dale Sneen 1 for 27. Uh, Bhuneshwar Kumar was a picture of uh, economy. 4 overs 1 for 21. Bapara bowled 4 overs uh, which went for 38 runs where Dumini went after Dumini and uh, Shreyas Iyer went after him. Uh, Karan Sharma uh, got severe um, lashing from the hands of Shreyas Iyer. 2 overs went for 25. Ashish Reddy bowled 2 overs. No made him 1 for 15. Now, uh, this was, uh, now it was the turn for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, to bat uh, and Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, were um, had to chase 160 uh, they had to get 168 to win well they started off in the right manner uh, with uh, David Warner and Shikhar Dhawan reeling off runs but uh, Nathan Coulter Nile uh, was bowling in the good areas and JP Dumini himself came on to bowl uh, I thought that was a master move by the uh, the Delhi Daredevil's captain because probably he sussed up the pitch pretty quickly and uh, he decided that he will bowl. Uh, yes, uh, definitely runs were there to come. I mean, runs definitely came at a very good clip as 50 runs were added at the rate of more than 8 runs per over by Shikhar Dhawan and uh, David Warner. But Dumini, look at what Dumini did. He started off, uh, he, he took 4 wickets and 3 wickets were taken uh, right away. Uh, he took the f 3 top wickets there. First, he picked up the wicket of, uh, of um, uh, Shikhar Dhawan, uh, who was bowled by Dumini after making 18 of as many balls with three fours. Then it was the turn for David Warner to go back to the pavilion. And David Warner was done in by Dumini with a, with a ball which foxed him. And David Warner played into the hands of Dumini. He was gone. Cotton bowled Dumini for 28 of 20 balls with four fours. And Ravi Bapara, uh, who was the highest scorer, uh, contributing 41 of 30 balls with one four and three sixes. <laughs> Um, was the other wicket that Dumini took but before that Angelo Matthews uh, uh, got the wicket of KL Rahul for 24 but I thought uh, Sunrise was either, but definitely had the match under control uh, even though uh, Naman Oja made only 12 runs and was a victim of him and Tahir things were going pretty well but when Bapara fell suddenly the pressure started building on the Sunrise was Hyderabad because Bapara fell when the score was 128 his individual score was 41 of 30 balls, 1-4 and 3 sixes, and that was also Dumini's wicket. And then one of the biggest wickets that Dumini took was Morgan. Morgan and Ashish Reddy were at the crease, uh, and uh, you know, uh, the, the, I mean, if you look at it, 128 for 5, especially considering that uh, John Morgan is at the crease, uh, you know that the, this job is well done. But what a wicket um, uh, Dumini took. That was the most vital uh, breakthrough I thought that uh, Delhi got because Dumini clean bowled Morgan for one of two balls and uh, what was good about Dumini he bowled only three overs but the, uh, what was very interesting was that he, the way he actually used himself uh, he bowled the first over when David Vaughan and Dhawan was there then he came into the middle picked up Bapara's wicket then Morgan came once again Dumini came and look at his bowling analysis three overs no maiden uh, 17 runs and he picked up four wickets. Splendid bowling spell from uh, J.P. Dumini, the captain. He was the man of the match, no doubt about it. <coughs> Sorry, dear fans, I'm having a sort of a cold here. Uh, and then um, when Morgan went, uh, the score was 129 for six and 17 overs. And this is the time one felt that Delhi Daredevils uh, is going to take this match. Because when Morgan was gone, all hope was, uh, hope had really, really faded out with Ashish Reddy and Karan Sharma at the crease. But then suddenly uh, we saw an injection of runs coming in as uh, it was Ashish Reddy uh, and, um, and uh, it was uh, Karan Sharma uh, combining uh, pretty well. Uh, they, they combined pretty well uh, to put up a, a very good uh, partnership. Now this partnership was uh, doing very very well. Suddenly as, as I said uh, there was an injection of runs as um, they started uh, hitting fours and sixes uh, and uh, the, the score uh, at the end of over 18 they had done a decent job one could say 
uh, of um, taking 16 runs of the two overs that they faced and Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, the score was reading 145 for 6 23 runs were required from the next 12 balls Angelo Matthews was given the 19th over and let's see what happened I will go on t I, I wouldn't be able to give any uh, like uh, a sort of a very enthusiastic cricket commentary because of my throat problem uh, but uh, definitely uh, the best that I could do here uh, is to give you some a little of, little bit of what happened. So Matthews was the bowler, uh, and uh, Matthews uh, bowled. So it was 23 runs required uh, of the of the next 12 balls, and this is what um, uh, and this is what uh, really happened when 23 runs were required. Matthews bowled to Sharma. Uh, the third delivery, Ashish Reddy uh, sent uh, Matthews for a boundary. It was full on the off stamp. And Reddy went deep into his crease uh, and shoveled it over the mid-off region for a four. Beautiful stroke. After that, uh, there was a dot ball. And in the fifth delivery, when one thought that Matthews was doing a good job here, Ashish Reddy smashed a six. It was a slower ball, but it was absolutely well picked up by Ashish Reddy as he sent it soaring over the fence for a six. And then, and finally, this over, um, uh, because of the uh, strike that Ashish Reddy had, uh, the score had uh, uh, had been reduced by another 13 runs. So 19 the over 13 runs were realised, and finally the match came down to the wire with uh, with 10 runs required from six balls. And looking at the way Ashish Reddy uh, and um, uh, you know Karan Sharma were playing, uh, it, it was something which was almost done, I would say. But then look at that over that Nathan Coulter Nile bowled. That is the Splendid over, I thought. And I mean, if you are going to bowl the 20th over with 10 runs required, and if you are able to bowl absolutely superbly, like what Nathan Coulter and I did, uh, he deserves a lot of credit. Now, let's see what happened in the 20th over. 20th over, 10 runs to win for the Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, definitely looked on the cards. Nathan Coulter and I's first ball uh, was uh, single to uh, Sharma, so that brought it Ashish ready. And Nathan Coulter Nile, now what he did uh, is, uh, it was clever thinking on the part of Nathan Coulter Nile. He knew that Ashish Reddy will be giving room for himself to whack him. But, uh, well, in the process, even though he did it, but it resulted in actually run out. When Ashish Reddy was run out for 15 of 8 balls, 1-4 and 1-6. And now the equation was 4 balls were left. And in the 4 balls, uh, it was the Sunrisers Hyderabad reading nine runs but still a possibility and as uh, and then the new new batsman because they are cross dense it was Sharma on the other end and Sharma uh, actually sent the ball to long off and took a single of the third delivery then it came down to the fourth delivery uh, where Pravin Kumar was on strike but Pravin Kumar managed to somehow get it through the covers for a single so now the equation now the equation uh, was uh, six runs to get in three bo in two balls, and Karan Sharma was on strike. Now this was the one uh, which really had, uh, I would say, uh, this was the this was the moment I would say that really won the match for the Delhi Daredevils. Now look at what happened. Nathan Kuldanile bowled to Sharma, and now this uh, ball has been really spanked by Karan Sharma. It's almost going to the fence. It is, it, has go, it, it is actually a crack through the point region. Now, my, uh, almost going to the fence. Now, Mayank, Mayank Agarwal is at the edge of the rope. And uh, this ball is probably going to carry for a six. Now, Mayank Agarwal realized realize that he is not able to reach the ball. And what he did with the great presence of mind, he pushed the ball into the play. Uh, he didn't allow the ball to go for a six, and he not, not only he didn't even allow the ball to go to, go to the boundary, and uh, he just pushed it into the field of play. So it was a tremendous uh, effort by Mayank Agarwal, and that resulted in the in the in the batsman taking only two runs. Probably they were thinking that uh, they are going to probably it is going to go for a six, and the match is going to be finished. And uh, that was a real misnomer on the part of the batsman uh, because. Uh, the way, um, the, the, the fielding uh, of Mayank Agrawal uh, was the one which really won the match for the Delhi Daredevils. And of the final ball, uh, hope was still there because two runs were taken, only four runs. So just one more boundary, it would have been over. But now uh, it was a crunch moment. Uh, the, the crowds were at the edge of their seats. Uh, and only, 
I know uh, f- uh, four runs required, and one has to one had to see what was happening. Now Nathan Keltonile uh, would have been under tremendous pressure, uh, and uh, Nathan Keltonile bolted the full delivery. Now Curran was trying to give room for himself and trying to whack it, but it's all over. As what has happened is he tried, he definitely did that, but the ball actually took the splice of the bat, fell, flew high up in the air. Matthews made no mistake. And that was the end as Delhi Daredevils won the match. Karan Sharma, after making 19 runs of 10 balls with two sixes, was a goner. And that was the match for the Delhi Daredevils. They won the match by just four runs. What an over. Ten runs required of the final over. Nathan Kultanai giving away just six runs, picking up a wicket. And Sunrisers Hyderabad losing the match by just four runs. Now that would really pain. Four runs is a very, very slender margin. And... And once that happened, let's have a look at the bowling figures. J.P. Dominey was named man of the match for his printed um, all-round bowling, biting and bowling performance. Nathan Kuldanayal, um, I would say I would doff my hat to him. Four overs, no maiden, one for 26, splendid bowling from him. Dominey, four for 17 of his three. Uh, Dominic Joseph Mutasami, two overs, one for 20. Matthews, four overs, one for 38. Himran Tahir, one for 35. Mishra, two overs, one for 40. And Hiraj Singh, one over, one for 10. Now, uh, since I have been talking a lot about this match, uh, since due to the excitement, I'm going to go to the next match, and this is going to be a real skimmer here. Uh, the 14th match, uh, which was played between between Kings 11 Punjab and Kolkata Knight Riders. Now, Kings 11 Punjab batted first, uh, and uh, they put up 155 for 9 on the board of their 50 overs. Now, as far as Kings 11 Punjab was concerned, uh, Murli Vijay was uh, out for a duck. Uh, Virendra Sevag made 11 of 10 balls with 2 fours. Uh, Didiman Saha made 15 of 11 balls with 1 4 and 1 6. Maxwell and Bailey were the chief contributors, with uh, ba- Maxwell making 33 of 26 balls with two folds and two sixes, and 60 coming from the bat of George Bailey, the captain of the Kings and Punjab innings, uh, who made 60 of 45 balls with five folds and two sixes, uh, and uh, Tisra Pereira making nine of eight balls. Uh, Gurkirat Singh made 11, Akshar Patel for two, Johnson for one, and uh, that was it, 155 for nine was what Kings and Punjab ended up with, thanks to... Uh, Bailey and uh, Maxwell uh, really doing the honors there. But look at the bowling. Now, Umesh Shyada was impressive. Four overs, no made in 3.33. Moni Morgul, 2 for 27 of his two. All the bowlers did a good job, I thought. Russell, 4 overs, 2 for 39. Sunil Nareen was excellent. Sunil Nareen was the one who was really adding to the pressure. And after, and this was the first time in the Indian Premier League that we saw that Sunil Nareen was really making an impression as uh, he showed the glimpses of what he was as uh, he gave away just 17 runs and picked up, uh, picked up a wicket, but it was splendid bowling. Pierce Shawla, four was no maiden, none for 29. Now, Kolkata Knight Riders had to get 156 runs at a rate of uh, more than seven point, almost 7.75 runs per over. And, um, and let me tell you, uh, Sandeep Sharma was, uh, I mean, Sandeep Sharma was uh, bowling uh, superbly. In fact, he was uh, swinging the ball away from the batsman, he was swinging the ball into the batsman, and uh, he was the one who started doing the damage. First, he picked up the wicket of um, uh, Kolkata Knight Riders when they started with Robin Nutupa and Gambhir. Sandeep Sharma started making uh, very quick inroads into the Kolkata Knight Riders innings. As first, he dismissed uh, uh, Robin Nutupa, who was LBW for 13 of 10 balls, 2 fours. Then he went on to pick up the wicket of Manish Pandey, who was caught by Bailey for 12 of 6 balls, 2 fours, and then... Uh, it was, uh, and then it was Surya Kumar Yadav who came in. Uh, well, he did his job. He came there. I mean, you know, Surya Kumar Yadav, you know, uh, he's such a thrasher of a ball. Uh, he knows only one way to play the ball, and that is to really hit the leather out of it. And that's what he precisely did. He did his job. He contributed a quick fire 23 of 10 balls with two fours and two sixes. Uh, but uh, Pereira was the one who actually dismissed them for 23. That made it 60 for 3. And when Gautam Gambhir also fell on the same score, as I said, Sandeep Sharma uh, was uh, bowling excellently. Uh, and in, in the midst of all this, uh, what Sandeep Sharma did, in one particular over, uh, he went on to pick up, uh, at, at, at the score of 60, uh, there was something very eventful happening. Because uh, it was, uh, Sandeep Sharma was already, already bowling well, but uh, this was something uh, absolutely uh, something amazing. He bowled a double, he took a, with two wickets, First, he dismissed Gautam Gambhir, who was caught behind for 11 of 19 balls with 1 4. And Ryan Trendoshet was a first ball goner as he had him LBW for duck. And that made the score 60 for 5 in the 8th over. 
and Sandeep Sharma had picked up four wickets with a double wicket maiden. Look at his bowling analysis. Four overs, one maiden, 25 runs and four wickets and Kolkata Knight Riders were looking absolutely lost at 60 for five in the eighth over. Yusuf Patan was the piece. We know Yusuf Patan is a capable batsman. Yusuf Patan and Andre Russell entered the scene. Now when you see Andre Russell and Yusuf Patan together, uh, you, might be, you might be thinking that there are going to be some real fireworks. Yes, fireworks were there, but the fireworks came not from Yusuf Patan, but from Andre Russell. Andre Russell was uh, simply, I would say, uh, simply started dismissing the, um, uh, the bowlers from their presence because he started really swiping the ball, started slogging the ball, started off with some very weird hits and Andre Russell was packing a lot of power into his strokes. Yusuf Patan was in, but after seeing that Andre Russell on his own was really, really giving the ball a real whack, Yusuf Patan started going into his shell. Now that is something surprising, but Yusuf Patan definitely did that. Uh, he reined himself in. Uh, he thought that he is the one who has to stay there uh, with Andre Russell. And what a job uh, Yusuf Patan did. Uh, commendable. He normally, as you know, his natural instinct for Yusuf Patan is to attack the ball. But in this case, uh, he played according to the needs of the situation. He reined himself with Andre Russell. Andre Russell was doing all the scoring. And then slowly we, sh we saw that Yusuf Patan also joined Russell and the score started galloping. And look at what um, Andre Russell did. This was a match winning knock because uh, he almost, uh, he, he had taken them to, he had leveled the scores. Uh, Andre Russell had done so much of damage that he had leveled the scores for the Kolkata Knight Riders. And look at that partnership. That partnership, 95 runs uh, coming from uh, looking at it, it is uh, uh, probably, uh, we are uh, looking at uh, probably 50, 58 deliveries. In a span of 58 deliveries, Andre Russell uh, had caught, six, I mean, he had made 66 of 36 balls with 9 fours and 2 sixes. And when the scores were level, Andre Russell, uh, trying to slog Johnson, had his stumps uh, shattered. He was gone. What a relief. But, well, it was uh, too late, I would say. Uh, and uh, finally it was all over with uh, only four runs, only a single required to win the match. Yusuf Patan completed the formalities with an unbeaten 28 of 24 balls with four fours. Pius Chala was not out on four. And from no hopers, Kolkata Knight Riders winning the match uh, by four wickets. And King Salon Punjab, as I said, in this in IPL 2015, they have been really, really struggling. Uh, they are, yes, you know, they have been the finalists in the IPL 2014, but they have not been able to live up to their billing, uh, I'm afraid to say that. But, uh, well, uh, credit to the Kolkata Knight Riders players. They really did a wonderful job, especially Andre Russell, who took the Man of the Match award for his uh, spanking innings. Sandeep Sharma, 4 overs, 1 minute and 25 runs and 4 wickets, bowled his heart out, but uh, the other bowlers couldn't support him well. Anruj Singh, 4 overs, 3, none for 37. Johnson, 3.5 overs, no made him, none for 41. Tisra Pereira, 1 for 30 through Akshar Patel, uh, I, I, I'm also, I also have to say that Akshar Patel uh, has looked listless in this Indian Premier League 2015. Two overs costing him 22 runs. And well, Kolkata Knight Riders finally winning the match by four wickets and keeping, uh, I mean, really, really showing that they are defending champions in this Indian Premier League 2015. Well, dear fans, friends and supporters, uh, I thought, uh, I mean, uh, that's something that really sums up my... Uh, cricket happenings for the day. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it as usual. Uh, thanks for your uh, uh, tremendous company uh, to this cricket show, uh, which really makes this uh, cricket show a very, very uh, entertaining affair for all dear friends and subscribers. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, keep an eye on this uh, cricket happening show, dear uh, fans, uh, friends and subscribers. Uh, I'll be out here tomorrow uh, to talk about the match. There are two matches, as you know, tomorrow being a Sunday. We'll have two matches in the Indian Premier League uh, 2015. Uh, I will have to check out the fixtures. I don't have the time right now. Sorry about it. But uh, one match that's going to be there, uh, as far as international cricket is concerned, is going to be between Pakistan and Bangladesh. As you know, Bangladesh beat Pakistan in the first one day. Uh, this is a three-match three, uh, three series. And the second match, Pakistan have to definitely win to keep their hopes alive. Uh, I mean, they have to love the series. If Bangladesh win, Bangladesh win the series. 
So, and that would be the first time that Bangladesh would have ever beaten Pakistan in the one-day series. Uh, well, I'm sure Pakistan don't want that to happen, uh, and Pakistan are having a lot of injury problems too. Uh, I'm told um, Hassan Adil is out of the one-day series, so a lot of injury problems for Pakistan, unfortunately. And uh, Bangladesh would be hoping that tomorrow would be another historic day. They did one; they already created one bit of history uh, when, after 16 years, they defeated Pakistan in one-day years. Now probably they would like to get on to another piece of cricket history where uh, they would have their first uh, one-day series victory over Pakistan if at all they could uh, beat them tomorrow. So, uh, well, uh, that's it from me, your host Ram, uh, for this cricket show this on a Saturday. Uh, see you all on Sunday on my next cricket happening show. Until then, it's good night. Thank you.